Time Travel Like an atomic capsule, which breaks the speed of seasons, my memory flies away in the fall to return when trilliums emerge at the edge of the forest. And like a stellar rover that found a time long gone, it sends back digital signals, sepia postcards made of minuscule strings of zeros and ones. A yesterday, measured in years, my mind can go back to, reveals almost forgotten fears, futile relics, hard to subdue. The smell of ripe pears follows my steps alongside the horse-drawn wagon. An awful void comes up abrupt and hollow. Be careful! I hear grandfather's voice erupt. The steep incline can swallow! That summer, a stallion I used to ride got startled and I landed in a pile of soot with an embarrassed smile and blackened face. Confronting cousin's laughter, I stood and slowly wiped my cheek, pretending nothing happened. Oh, what a joy and holy cheer the Christmas time would bring. Around the roasting peak we'd gather and work and laugh and sing. The snow that year was so deep the storm so furiously blinding that horses could not see the road and many sleighs were stranded. Dancing smoke above brick chimneys as well as people's puffy breath were taking scary dragon shapes in children's wild imagination. But now it's Peter time around the wood stove gather and watch my grandma's knuckled hand produce a piece of heaven. Wait, what was that? The dragons came inside and stretching out to reach me swirled bloody wings along the wall and made my skin bumps, minuscule zeros and ones, crawl.